As of May 8th, 2022, Sinusha has diagnosed a total of 23,778 cases in country, with 352 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 25.1 per 100,000 population per day, which represents an 88% increase from last week, with a 16% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 1.9. We have noted a total of 368 COVID-19 deaths. We have 10 positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. This past week, we continue to register cases daily and we note increases in our public health indicators. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has recently received new gene sequencing results from the Caribbean Public Health Agency. The results indicate the presence of both the Omicron BA1 and BA2 lineages. The Omicron variant BA1, which has since been circulating since February 2022, was confirmed in one of the samples sequence and 16 cases of the Omicron BA2 variant and one BA2.1. All of the samples are from locals. 61% are male and 44% of the cases are from the southern part of the island. The Omicron BA2 variant is responsible for the new waves noted both regionally and internationally. Based on the data analysis, we note the upward trajectory of the sixth wave in country. We anticipate increasing numbers over the next few weeks. The Omicron subvariant BA2 is characterized for high transmissibility. It is expected to affect entire households productivity in the workplaces, school absenteeism for quarantine and isolation, increased hospitalization and respiratory clinic numbers. As we learn to live safely with COVID-19 and as restrictive measures are removed, we need to ensure that our proven public health protective measures are in place to prevent us from getting sick and to protect the most vulnerable. The public is reminded that the threat of COVID-19, long COVID and its complications still exists, especially given our below average immunization rate in country. The Ministry of Health continues to ensure that the necessary measures are in place to effectively manage the new cases. However, personal responsibility is extremely important at this time to reduce transmission of infection to ourselves and our family. The public is guided to continue the use of face masks in public, ensure hand washing and proper general sanitization. The public is also advised to use their discretion and limit their attendance at mass crowd activities. To reduce the spread within classrooms, parents are reminded to avoid sending children with respiratory signs and symptoms and children who were directly exposed to positive cases to school. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson and Moderna vaccines are available at the various wellness centers. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for six months. People who have not been vaccinated are urged to get vaccinated urgently. We appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the maintenance of the public health protocols. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will be providing more information and guidance over the next few days.